Hi, my name's Heidi Allen and I would like to show you how I use Feedly. I've had a lot of questions and I'm going to demonstrate it to you today. This is what Feedly looks like for me. This is how I've set it up. It has different categories for the different things that I'm reading and it's an RSS reader like Google Reader. Except for me, it's set out in a way that I like and I find easy to use. So here I've got the category of health and all the health articles and things that I read are loaded in here. And what I can do is I can open each one if I'm interested in um, a particular one and I can read it here and then if I think it's it's worthy of, of sharing with my uh, network I can also tweet it if I'm logged into Twitter so there we go um, I can amend it I can add things to it and then I can tweet it like so providing obviously you've read it and like it and you don't flood your um, Twitter stream with too many links. Now the other thing um, you notice that apart from also blogs that it will also you can also add um, feeds for Twitter feeds so you may not decide to follow somebody in Twitter but you might follow them in your RSS reader. So for example this is a science blogger that I do happen to be following but if I wanted to add his RSS tweets to my reader I simply click on the feed subscribe now and I can categorize him in where I want him now he's a sort of a health science sort of blogger so I'm going to put him in there and I'm going to subscribe so now every time his tweets every time he tweets it's going to come up in my read along with any links that he does I can edit my subscription here I can put him in a different category I can mark them all red and in the back end you can see here that I've got different categories, so digital strategy, education, general interest, these are all the things that I'm reading and it makes it a really nice easy way to use what's on the web without um, having to go from site to site. So the other way to do that is if you like a blog for example, again so this is a, a pain research blog that I'm involved with, there's the RSS button literally just press it and you subscribe it's that easy to do subscribe now in this case I'm going to put it into neuroscience and then any time there's a new blog post I'll be able to read that you can also mark them as favorites so that they come up in your digest and the digest will feature all the different areas of your um, subscription base if you like now to get Feedly put it into your search click on it and literally download it. Now it's also available for Chrome and I've just tried it. Um, Chrome is faster um, but it's not quite there yet on adding the RSS feeds. You still have to do that manually um, but it's nearly there. So if you have got Chrome um, it's not long to go I don't think. Um, and that's Feedly and I can uh, thoroughly recommend it as um, a tool just to keep up to date uh, especially if you're a blogger and you want to share things on your different networks. It's a definite um, way of doing it. The other thing I want to show you is that you can also uh, bookmark. So for example, uh, here, if I want to add something to my Digo, I can, again, straight from my Feedly, it'll put it in there. There's a URL. That's what it's called. I can add a tag. Asthma. Little spell. Um, I can add it to a particular item, add a new bookmark so I can go back to it later. So it's an incredibly useful tool uh, and that's Feedly. Thanks.